Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video we'll be replacing the spark plugs on the Chevy Colorado. To get started, we'll need a flathead screwdriver to remove this intake tube. Loosening both of these clamps counterclockwise. Now that we got both of the clamps loose, we'll want to slide off one end and then the other. Followed by removing the hose completely. Using a 10mm socket and an extension, we'll want to loosen these two bolts holding the intake resonator. With the flat blade screwdriver, we'll want to loosen these other two clamps between the throttle body and the resonator. Disconnecting this vacuum hose by pulling it back. Now we'll want to lift up the resonator so we can disconnect the last hose that's attached to it. As you lift up, you'll want to slide it off that throttle body intake tube that we just loosened the clamps on. And here you can get a look at that PCV hose that's still attached to it. You'll want to slide that up and off. And out goes the resonator. At this point, you'll want to inspect this hose for any cracks or breaks in it. If yours looks like this or worse, it should be replaced. We'll also need to remove this throttle body intake tube. At this point, we'll need to pull up on this wire guide, which is being held on by three clips. I use my clip remover to make it easier, sliding it under each clip, but you only gotta remove the two that you'll notice here. With those two off, you should have enough room to reach the bolt and remove the coil. Now to begin removing the ignition coil. We'll want to remove this lock clip. You should be able to lift each side with your nail, but if not, a screwdriver will work. Then press the middle of the lock clip to remove it completely. Now we just press down here on the tab to disconnect the connector. To loosen the ignition coil hold down bolt, we'll want to use a 10mm socket and a ratchet. Loosening it by rotating counterclockwise till the bolt releases from the threads. Now to remove the ignition coil, you'll want to wiggle it till it frees up and you can slide it out. To remove the spark plug, I use a 5.8 spark plug socket which has a rubber insert to hold the spark plug as you remove it and you install it. You'll also want to use an extension with a socket. And once you got it on the spark plug, we can loosen it. But as you can hear, these spark plug threads sound really dry. So we should use any seeds when we install the new spark plugs. And out comes the first spark plug. The spark plugs I'll be using are these AC Delco Iridiums. They should be got that 0 0.043, but you always want to check them to make sure. Because they can be dropped at any point and that may close the gap. I'll have a video linked at the top or in the description on how to do that. Now we'll want to add a little anisees to the threads. And you want to be sure to use the aluminum colored anisees. And you don't want to add too much. Just a little on the first few threads, making sure to avoid the spark plug tip area. With the spark plugs prepared, let's go back and install our new spark plugs. You want to make sure to install them by hand as much as you can to avoid damaging the threads on the cylinder head. Once you got it hand tight, tighten it with the ratchet.
and torque it to spec. With the spark plug on and tightened, let's reinstall the coil. Getting this bolt on by hand as well, and snug it up with the ratchet. We can now push down these clips to the wire guide. And if by chance the clips move out of position or came up, you can unclip this upper piece and push them down and through. And that's what they'll look like. All we want to do is push them down and make sure that they're in position. And here's the other clip. And now just snap this upper piece back down. Reconnect the connector, followed by the lock clip. Now on to the second cylinder. From here on it'll be a trend version on the how-to since they follow the same procedure. Disconnecting the coil connector, followed by removing the coil, then the spark plug. By the looks of these plugs they must have been replaced before because the originals are iridiums and these are platinum plugs. What do you guys think? Should I have left the remainder of the spark plug replacement? Or do you guys prefer that I had just showed the first plug and skipped to the final plug? Please let me know in the comments, it really helped me out in making my future videos. Now on to the third plug. Remove the lock clip, disconnect the connector, Remove the coil, then the plug. It does get a little repetitive, but each one gets us closer to the finish. Reinstall our new plug, getting it in as far as you can by hand, then tighten and torque to spec. Alright, we're now officially past the halfway mark. Reinstalling the coil. The connector. And finally the lock clip. On to the fourth cylinder. This procedure is also the same for the four cylinder version of this truck. The only difference we will be on the last plug by now. One thing's for sure, these spark plug threads are all dry and rusty, so they will benefit from anti-seize. And now we can torque the new plug. Reinstall the ignition coil. Tighten it. Reconnect the connector and the lock clip. Finally the fifth and last cylinder, removing the connector and the ignition coil. Now loosen the spark plug and then remove it. Install the new spark plug, tighten it by hand, and then torque it to spec. Almost there. Now the ignition coil, tighten that. Reinstall the connector, then the clip. Now to get the resonator on. I find it easier to install it with the intake tube on and install it together. When installing it, you'll want to get that hose under the resonator on first followed by sliding in the intake hose to the throttle body and now just get it into position. Reinstall this vacuum hose. Now tighten both of these clamps.
Now install and tighten these two hold down bolts. Finally, this intake tube and tighten down the two clamps. Well, that just about does it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If so, please click that thumbs up button to support my video and my channel. And please subscribe if you haven't done so.